one received that word either. This one, this word became flesh. Finally, he gets the word not of wealth, this one who is the bread of life, but he gets the word of rejection. This is the one who goes up on the cross because the world that God so loved the no. And in that no, there is also me and there is also you. And yet the incredible thing is the very no that we speak to God is the very means by which God gathers us to himself in this one who stretched out on the cross for our sake. This one whom God raised, this one who is a living bread, this one who greeted all those who want to rely upon themselves or simply this one, him, came among his own and said, Peace be with you. This is the one who gathers us into the body of Christ. This is the one in whose name you are baptized. This is the one who calls you to faith. This is the one who enables you to do the work of God, namely to trust that promise. You have called Pastor Joe Truster to keep pointing you to that promise no matter what. The work of God that has been Pastor Julianne's ministry and Pastor Andrea's ministry and Pastor Henry's ministry, the chief work of God is that they speak that word of promise to you. When you are inclined to despair, to complain, to wonder about what is the church, it is their calling to speak that word to you, to invite you to through repentance, to pass up to the truth when you fail to trust yourself, and also to speak that word of forgiveness and the crucified and weakness of Jesus, the peace of the Lord be with you. You, dear people, it's the work of God that you also echo that word back to your pastor, to Pastor Joe and Sandy, and to those who are called the leadership in these congregations, that you also remind them in that word when they're inclined to despair, aware when they're inclined to worry, aware that they're inclined to rely only upon themselves. You speak to them that word that says when they have blown it. You know what, Pastor? God in Christ Jesus has forgiven you. Or, dear pastor, you know what? You feel alone? You're not alone. I promise you, pastor, I will pray for you every day of your ministry with us. Or, pastor, you feel alone? You know what? What can I do this week to help you out? See what happens? When our trust is in this God, by the Spirit, we confess Jesus is Lord. And suddenly we begin to do the works of God. It cannot be otherwise. Dear members of life, that's what happens. Do we still have regrets? Why did I take this call, as the Joe Prester may say? <laughs> Why do we call that guy? <laughs> do we still sometimes wonder? Yes. But in those moments, we got a place to go. We have a place to go. We go back to that water of baptism. We go back to that word of forgiveness. We go back and are fed a piece of bread and a sip of wine. And we know this one who is the bread of life, who says, you come to me and you will not hunger. 